Hey everybody, Dr. Craig here with Evolve Chiropractic. So today we're going to be talking about spinal disc injuries. So in a previous video that we had done, we talked about the anatomy. So just a quick recap from that. The spinal discs themselves are really the cushions of our spine. It is composed of two parts. We have that innermost gel type substance, which is really the cushion, which is called the nucleus pulposus and then a more ligamentous structure on the outside called the annulus fibrosis. So now that you remember that, let's switch to the other side. So these spinal disc injuries are going to basically go up in severity. They're all serious injuries and they're all potentially permanently damaging to the spine. So the first one here I want to talk about is a disc bulge. That is something that I would consider mild to moderate. What happens is there's a compressive event uh, or improper loading on the spine, that cushion starts to bulge out and starts to tear some of those outside fibers. Now that causes a lot of localized inflammation. Usually you don't get a ton of radiation of pain with that. It's just more, hey, I feel pain. I, it, nothing is really doing anything to take that away. There's still consistent inflammation in that area. The next one down is a little bit more serious. It's called the disc herniation. Now that is something that most people start to talk about in terms of a slipped disc um, or a pinched nerve. So what happens is that cushion starts to break through a majority of those outside fibers and because of inflammation or just direct contact, it starts to actually push in on some of those spinal nerves or into that spinal column. So with that, you'll see symptoms like numbness and tingling, sharp shooting pains into the legs, into the arms, into the extremities. So that is one that is a little bit more serious and then as we head down a disc protrusion is really a little bit more of a serious disc herniation so that disc starts to protrude out and then it starts to protrude down into that spinal column so that will actually start to increase pressure onto the spinal cord or into that space it'll definitely increase pressure onto those spinal nerves causing some of those radiation of symptoms now the fourth one that generally doesn't come into my office um, but has in the past on occasion is something way more serious. So that's what we call a disc extrusion and that's something where we are in a position of a disc herniation or a disc protrusion more likely. Um, there's a compressive event that causes that disc to actually break off and basically dislocate into that spinal canal. Now that is like I said something that is more serious more than likely that is something that's going to require uh, potentially some surgery. Now, what are the most common causes of these types of injuries? Really, there's, there's two main reasons. Uh, the first one is definitely the most common, and it's pressure, compression on your spine. Pressure comes in a couple of different forms, but most likely it comes from, number one, trauma. So you're putting a high amount of pressure over a short amount of time. It causes that disc to basically squeeze and then push out. The second one is posture. How many of us say, oh yeah, I have terrible posture, and then as we get older, we start to notice maybe some of these problems start to creep up. If you are taking your posture and taking those ideal curves out of your spine, flattening things out, rather than loading that disc in a nice uniform manner, it's almost like you're basically taking and putting a lot of pressure on one end so that it, it's destined to sort of push back and into that spinal column. Uh, like I said, the other one would be not just pressure, but maybe a systemic disorder, some sort of um, inflammatory disease that's going on in your body that makes you more prone to maybe have weaker discs, weaker bones, um, makes you more susceptible for something like that. So hopefully you can kind of see there is a little bit of a theme here with this. If you are not somebody who has some sort of systemic disorder, somebody who is, um, hasn't had a whole lot of history of trauma, but you're experiencing maybe some of the symptoms from some of these problems, it's probably due to your posture. So what you should be doing, getting your spine checked out. So come on in, we'll see you soon.